Saraswati Vagekara Trust, Madras 18. Music Trinity Birthday Series 1990. Inaugural Function and Music Concert. Video coverage sponsored by Sri Ramalingeshwara Trust, Madras 28.
dialogue request Sangeet Galaadhi Shrimati Ji ke patta paan to write to the world. subject to a lot of analysis and criticism and comparisons. I would only request that they kindly be left alone. Let us enjoy what they have given. I don't think we are competent enough even to enjoy what they have given. To understand what they have and I have a very firm conviction that one Janma will not be enough yeah. to understand even a minuscule portion of what they have given to us. Yeah, yeah. It is with this firm conviction that this trust thought it necessary to do a very humble beginning of some musical event more in the nature of homage to that great master, Sri Deepshita. That's why a Gitanjali was organized under the auspices of this trust, along with a committee who is locally looking after the Deepshita Mandapam at the time. Huh? And thanks to the cooperation of the artists and the committee there, that Gitanjali was a very rolling success, I should say. I would request on this occasion that other organizations, musicians, lovers of music, people who are interested very deep in music, try their best to bring a type of also in the Carnatic music map of this country. In one sense, I personally am not satisfied with what has been done for I feel this trinity are international personalities. They are not they are not our national leaders, but they are international personalities in the culture, the history of the world. Being that I felt that 
the non-attention to a diaphragm was a mistake on our part and we should rectify it. I should also mention in this connection the bringing out of the second volume by Sri Nandachan on Narayana Tirtha. Why I mention that here is we all know that Narayana Tirtha was the illustrious predecessor who was given the background for the Trinity's work. They in fact, they have been very, very careful to acknowledge their predecessors very cleverly incorporated that tradition in their music output. I am not sure whether we are keeping up to that tradition. As you know, the mother organization, Saraswati, and now Vagetana Trust has been trying to do in its own small humble way whatever it can to bring out the various facets in our great Carnatic music system and tell, if possible, to the listening public how much more is required to be done to just understand that system. My oft-repeated quotation is, unlike in other systems, we have the heritage of homework which has been assiduously done by our predecessors, the generations which have devoted to this great cause. And very often I feel that what we think as innovation is already covered by the great personalities. I think we are more in the nature of discovery than innovation. I also feel that if the discovery is made with the humility which is required, probably we may discover much more than what we are discovering now. It is in that spirit this series has been organized. But I feel one important aspect which is relevant to be mentioned here is the correct rendering of these kritis. We find some of the kritis, I am not trying to criticize, it is not in my vein, but I have a fear that some of the kritis are being rendered just to suit somebody's convenience <coughs> and not carrying out what has been probably handed over to us by generations. There's nothing wrong in being a little conservative in that matter. For I feel only these generations have added that needed flesh to the whole thing. And we see a full-blown, magnificent personality. We have to only admire and follow its footsteps before we think in terms of innovating. And certainly not render the kriti as it suits us. A lot of listening has got to be done from great masters to understand really the weight of some of these kritis and then understanding it fully rendering. That's why I thought that especially when some of the elder musicians are rendering concerts here, at least if they are covered on the video, some of the songs which they are rendering in the proper tradition can be learned by students here and also students abroad and they get benefited by this. I feel the time has come when that video coverage has got to be extended so that this is available to our future generation. I also feel that apart from the Kritis, rendering of Pallavis or discussion on important aspects concerning music. For example, slowly Varnam is going away from the concerts. I have requested Mr. Janik Raman to give us a lecture demonstration on Varnam, the history of Varnam. 
I feel that uh, all that is necessary for us to understand <coughs> this great art. I am thankful to Sri Gopal for having readily accepted to inaugurate this festival and also to Srimati Pratamara who calls this as Namba Saraswati. And I really am moved by the affection which she has been bestowing on these organizations. And in fact, she has been called by the name Saraswati. <laughs> I have received for this organization her blessings in abundant measure, which speaks volumes of the work which is being done. We are really proud that Srimati Patamar thinks well of this organization. To put it in a very colloquial Madrasi language, I feel that Saraswati Vajayadara Trust and Saraswati have also received the Sangeeta Dharanities <laughs> for what it is worth. I now request Sri Gopalakshan to speak and inaugurate this festival. Thank you.
we are guilty. And I must congratulate she and Mrs. Brown and Sarah Furch on trying to get it on the media and show this will be really taken to the homes and probably brought so that people take this again uh, to a situation where it will become as popular. I have been a Mahila Korean for long and I have seen how these have been very popular. Acoustics, modern adjuncts are very necessary. But our bedroom is being a fine art. It is also dedicated to the Almighty and I feel that it is our duty to cherish this fine art as well as our heritage of uh, dedicating the Almighty. And I would definitely stand by this as a humble servant working in the Indian Bank, my institutions, ready also to support people like Sri I thank the organizing time this opportunity to me and I once again apologize for having me here. Thank you. Thanks, Sri Gopal for his kind words. Uh, true to any person who can avail credit, he can be rest assured that I will avail full credit of uh, In token of our affection for him, I'm presenting a very small to Sri Mati Dikya Bhattamara. sincere and profound thanks to Sri Gopal Krishnan, Chairman and Managing Director Indian Bank for having ready accepted our invitation to preside and inaugurate the Music Trinity birthday series. We are very grateful to you sir for having come over here this evening and participated in the inaugural function of the Music Festival in spite of your busy schedule. We are equally grateful to Sangeeta Kalanidhi Srimadhi D.K. Patamad for lighting the Kuti Vadal. Our grateful thanks are due to Srimadhi Malini Raghunath, the artist of this evening, Srimadhi Mani Krishna Sami, the accompanying artist, and Sri Amman Kandasami, the other musicians and accompanying artists who are participating in the music festival, eminent Sangeeta Vidwans and Vidwam Sinis who are present here in response to our invitation, the dignitaries, Sri Ramalingeswara Trust for sponsoring the video coverage of today's function, Saraswati for sponsoring today's program, Sri Govinda Rajan, Sri Siva, Sri Mohan Raj and other staff of Sri Kartiya Press for all the printing works collected by the music festival. <coughs> Sri BVSS Mani could not come over here this evening due to some preoccupations. We are also very grateful to him. The other donors, United India Insurance, Mrs. Meera Sridhar, Tirupandurthi Sri Vengadesan, Sri Nyanavaran, Sri Janigiravan, Sri Murali, and Mrs. Kausalya, Sri K.S. Mahadevan, Sri Jago, Music Critics, Doordarshan Madras, Music and Patronage. Thank you all. <laughs> 